Welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Well, we're headed towards full fear-mongering campaign mode, right? The closer we get to election day, the more Democrats will continue to up the ante. The more extreme the rhetoric's gonna get, the more the sky is gonna be falling every single day. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. I'm moving to Canada. Trust me when I tell you that's exactly what we're gonna be hearing. We're gonna be hearing a whole lot of it. But there's only one problem, and it's what I've mentioned before. These leftoids are once again crying wolf. They're saying all of these things, which could work if Trump was an un known. You know, back in 2016, Trump was certainly a politically unknown. No one really knew what a Trump presidency would be or would mean. Nowadays, however, we know exactly what a Trump term is like. We know exactly what to expect. And of course, knowing that all the left is fear mongering, well, it seems as though it's just not as potent as it once was. And so in this election season, we have far left progressive leftists pushing their typical crap, but it just isn't as potent as it used to be. No, quite the opposite. A lot of the fear mongering, I I think is going to have a little bit of a different impact or different effect than intended. I think in a weird kind of way, far left progressive activists aren't sending the message that they think they are. They aren't making the points they think they are. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that, by this hilarious TikTok video. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so we got a clip from Now This Media. I'm sure you guys know exactly who Now This is. I'll put their logo here. It's very likely that you've seen this logo as a watermark tag on many videos across the internet. Now This is essentially Vox, BuzzFeed, you know, the same kind of world. They're very politically active, and of course, in an election season, they're getting quite active. The idea is to convince the people that Donald Trump is a dangerous man. Donald Trump is evil and orange and must be stopped. And so here are the talking points. Wonder what Trump will actually do if he gets back into office? You don't have to speculate because he calls his plan Agenda 47. And spoiler alert, it's scary as sh here are some of the worst ideas we're in store for if he wins in November. One, attacking immigration. Trump's anti-immigration policies will be even worse the second time around. He's promised to end birthright citizenship, enlist an army to round up and deport millions of undocumented immigrants and deploy thousands of US troops to the southern border. Two, criminalizing LGBTQIA plus Americans. Trump says he'll ban gender affirming care for trans kids and prevent schools from helping kids through their transition. He wants to forbid schools from even teaching anything about sex and gender that diverges from the far right's idea of the nuclear family. Three, overhauling education. Agenda 47 includes huge changes to the education system. He wants to give huge benefits for homeschooling to indoctrinate kids with Christian nationalism, incentivize teachers to carry guns in their classrooms, further crack down on affirmative action, and destroy crucial DEI departments at colleges and universities. Four, restoring racist crime policies. Criminal legal system reform will be off the table if Trump becomes president. He promised to bring back racist policies like stop and frisk and other ineffective and discriminatory tough on crime tactics that have failed in the past. He also wants to increase protections for power abusing police while rolling back hard fought for reforms and institute the death penalty for low level crimes like drug dealing. Five, weaponizing the government. The scariest part might be Trump's threat to more or less dismantle the federal government. If he gets back in office, he's going to purge anyone who could possibly stand up to him and replace them with MAGA loyalists like Stephen Miller. He's going to prosecute his political enemies using traditionally independent orgs like the DOJ as his own personal weapon and give himself unprecedented power over agencies like the FCC and FTC. These are just the things he wants you to know about. Trump has plenty of regular crazy stuff in Agenda 47 too, like how he wants to found new freedom cities across the country and somehow give Americans access to flying cars? The whole thing is weird as hell, like everything Trump does, but there's nothing funny about Agenda 47 or the possibility that he might be president again. Now you probably understand the point that I was trying to make in the intro, right? That's the anti-Trump argument. I don't know about you guys, but that felt like a Trump campaign ad to me. You know, we've gotten to a point where it's all become so incredibly ridiculous, where Trump derangement syndrome has reached a certain degree that anything Donald Trump says or does is so horrifying and terrible to these ridiculous leftoids. But I think to everybody else, it just sounds like common sense policy. He's going to ramp up anti-immigrant policies. Then she immediately says he's going to deport illegals. So not anti-immigrant policies, more like anti- illegal immigrant policies, and he's going to end birthright citizenship. <laughs> 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 
You know, all of these ideas that are supposedly part of Agenda 47 that leftoids are telling us are so scary aren't really so scary at all. And look, maybe they knew that, and that's why they dripped in a bunch of fear-mongering nonsense fake news as well. Trump's gonna bring back racist policies. He's gonna criminalize LGBTQIA plus Americans. And then the example for that was getting rid of LGBTQ indoctrination in the earlier years of education. You know, it just all seems so ridiculous. And that's because it is. But this is what the Democrats are stuck with. This is what they're running on. Donald Trump is really scary because he wants to get rid of DEI and inappropriate indoctrination of children. If that's really what you guys are running on, yeah, I'm not so sure you're gonna convince average folk. We've reverted right back to the 2016 talking point that if you support Donald Trump and if you support his policies, then you're a racist. Take a look at this. This is really a question about who we are as Americans. Uh, we are a nation of immigrants. But what Donald Trump is trying to do in the name of his own political expediency is to normalize bigotry again, to make it OK to to uh, hold those bigoted views and to try to motivate people to act on the, the worst instincts that they all carry inside them. And unfortunately, what he's doing is deciding that that's going to be the focus of his campaign. The Chiron reads, Trump doubles down on anti-immigrant rhetoric, but this clown, Democrat Representative Dan Kildee, essentially made the claim that anybody who supports Donald Trump's campaign platform on illegal immigration is, quote, motivated by the worst instincts that they all carry inside them. In other words, you're a racist if you think that illegal immigrants should be deported and that the border should be secured. You know, it's complete insanity, but insanity seems to be exactly what they're running on. And I think that's pretty evident, considering that now this clip, Donald Trump's gonna do all of these horrible, horrible things, and all of those things are just purely common sense, logical policies that work. What's the alternative? I mean, the Democrats are saying that we are the alternative. And so what exactly is that alternative? Well, what's the opposite of common sense and logical policies? Complete insanity, and in this case, Democrat insanity. I mean, I think that's all they got left. I mean, maybe there are some things where Democrats are making sense, but none of it seems to be the focus of their rhetoric. It's always Trump this and Trump that, Trump this, Trump that. The danger to our democracy. Nobody's buying it. You know, like I said in 2016, I wouldn't say it had merit, but maybe it was more convenient convincing because the unknown is scary, but now we pretty much know exactly what to expect. So when we see stuff like this, here's Jennifer Lewis a couple days ago speaking about Donald Trump. If that man gets in, as soon as he takes the oath, he will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. He will take a hammer and break the glass where the Constitution is, and he will tear it up in our faces and say, now, I'm the king of the world. You will bow down, bitches. He will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this shit. I know it because I know what mental illness looks like. Mm. That mania is unstoppable. See, this mother is Hitler. Mm. He didn't come to play. Probably most people are writing off those kinds of statements entirely. Yeah, 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 of course. Donald Trump's literally Hitler. Donald Trump's a fascist. Democracy is under attack. Yada, yada, yada. Racist, misogynist, racist, misogynist. Kids in cages, nuclear codes, World War III, yada, yada, yada. We've heard it a million times. Nobody cares. They've simply cried wolf too many times. The rhetoric just doesn't carry any more weight. That's pretty much it. I guess just another pro-Trump campaign ad. Unintentionally so. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.